Hi, welcome to Yogi's home. Today, we have a very special guest. Da -da -da -da. Hello. <laughs> this is Monique and she, or you can call her Mo. What yeah. do you prefer? Doesn't matter. I'm used to Mo, but Mo. Monique is fine as well. All right. This is my good friend Mo. She is an incredible baker and she is going to be teaching us today how to combine Dutch and American culture. What are we making today, Mo? We're making stropwafel cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> They're very yummy. <laughs> they are super, super yummy. And not only are we going to make these cupcakes and teach you how to do it, but we are going to give a giveaway. <laughs> thank you for being the first to give away on my channel. This is Yeah, no, I'm excited and thank you for having me here. Okay. It's like you've been the first, one of the first people who tried my cupcakes. I'm very excited to be here. They're the best. They're the best. You guys, we'll talk about the giveaway rules a bit later. They will be posted down below. But if you want to learn how to make these incredible stroke waffle cupcakes, which, oh, we, Dan, can you magically <laughs> give us like a, an effect here of the finished product? If you want to learn how to make this cupcake, <laughs> then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. We're really glad you're here. So to make this cupcake, you will need 150 grams of sugar, 150 grams of softened butter, three eggs, and 175 grams of flour. And I used the, the self-raising flour. Mm -hmm. And in here also added already uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. And then we're also gonna use one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. Perfect. All right, Mo, so what's the first step? How do we okay. make your cupcakes? So the first step is you want to mix the butter with the sugar until it's nice and fluffy. And get ready, because once you turn this on, it's going to be very loud. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Okay. Butter and sugar at the same time? Yes. Or we fluff the butter first? No, no, no. Both at the same time. And we even add also the vanilla as well. Okay. So all the th good things for your, for your diet are here now. <laughs> And one teaspoon. Yes. Okay. One teaspoon. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, it's not. Is it not I don't think it's. Okay, take two. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with it? What? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Oh god. Please work, please work. Okay. There you go. Here. <laughs> Up, and then you can just scrape down a little bit. See, it's like it's getting there, but it's not fluffy yet. The key is that the butter must be fluffy, like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> So I just want to show how it looks yes. before we add the eggs because we're going to add the eggs as it's in motion. Yeah. So then it might be loud as well. You see how it changed in color? It's not that like bright. It's quite fluffy. Yeah. yeah it's yellow. Yeah. It's more white. Any more? Yes. And if you want, you can even bit a little bit longer. Not too much. Don't leave it there for ten minutes because that's also not good because you're gonna to get too much air. Okay. So it's a very fine line between. Yes, it's not that you can just like put it on and go and take a shower because okay. then you're going to overbeat it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So now we put it on a lower speed and then one by one we're going to add the eggs. Okay. So just do it that it's one egg at a time. Ah! Or two. <laughs> Okay, you won't ruin it. <laughs> okay, a little bit to the bottom because we lost our scraper <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Is this right? Yeah. You just want to, you know, have it, make sure that then it's gonna mix. Uh, Back to mixing? Yeah. Just a little bit longer and then we're going to add the last ingredient, which is the flour and baking powder. Perfect. And maybe now we want to freeze the oven. So 180. So 
we have our pre-measured, pre-sifted yes, flour. Yes, pre-sifted flour. Um, and baking. Yes, you can see the white part here is the baking powder. Okay. How did you decide? <laughs> While that mixes, how did you decide to bake cupcakes and cakes? I will stop this so then it just doesn't overbeat. Okay. I will answer your Don't overbeat. No, this was, um, what was it, 2014. I did a trip to London with my husband. Mm -hmm. And there was this, at the um, train station, there was this cart with cupcakes. And every day I was passing by them and I was like, oh, they look so beautiful. I want to get one. Mm -hmm. And it was like, and I was like, no, I must resist. And the last day I finally did buy the mini cupcakes. And I was very excited about it. And when I tried, they were very dry. So they looked beautiful, but they were extremely dry. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I can do better than this. Because I always baked, not professionally, but since I'm a child, my mother always baked, so we're always baking at home. Mm. So I was like, I'm sure I can do this. So I started watching videos on YouTube and then I learned how to make them. And I start making them. <laughs> you guys, seriously, you need to check her page because she, not only do the cupcakes look and taste beautiful, but she makes the most creative cupcakes I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> like for Father's Day last year, was that last year or two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. We'll put a picture here. She made cupcakes that looked like hamburgers. It was so cool. It was cool. really cool. It was yeah. really cool. <laughs> And then I know you've also baked like those beautiful unicorn cakes. Yes, I love them. They're so much fun to make. And she makes. Did you have the lollipop? Um, the one in the comb as well. No, I, I had it on my birthday, so that was really uh, the kids really loved that one. Yeah. No, and she makes beautiful. I mean, like we'll we'll put some pictures in here to show yeah. like other work that she's done because she's like super creative. And this is not your full time job, is no, it? No, it's not. So I work on evenings and weekends. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, but I love it. So this, this, what you're gonna see is her side gig and she's like super talented, so. so and there's even a little bit left over if you want to scoop it, but bear in mind there is raw egg here. <laughs> All right, and our oven is literally about to beep that it's ready. So we're gonna put these in the oven and how long do they bake? So between 20 to 25 minutes, but we will put 20 now and see how they look because you don't want to over bake them. Okay, so now we're gonna say goodbye to these and we'll be back in 20 to 25 minutes when they're cooked. Which for you will be nothing. Which for you is like, all right, you guys, so while our cupcakes are baking, we have 20 minutes to whip up the buttercream frosting. And Mo, tell us, what are we putting into the frosting? So we are going to start with the butter. Again, softened butter, unsalted, please. <laughs> Salted butter, and we have 200 grams of butter. Uh, and then we have 320 uh, grams of sifted um, icing sugar. That's the puder soaker. In the yes. Yeah, the one that you put in your pancakes and puffages. <laughs> <laughs> so this is already being sifted, and then we have the homemade caramel, which I made last night. Mm -hmm. And the recipe for that is going to be in the description box below. Exactly. But if you do not want to make caramel, if you don't have time for it, you can get by if you just get one of those like dessert caramel sauce. Doesn't need to be from this brand, from any brand. They will do the trick as well. Okay. And then of course. You know the main, the main <laughs> recipe here, like what we're doing, right? It's truffles, and then for this cupcake, we use the mini ones because they look cuter. Perfect. Sounds good. All right, let's get to making that buttercream frosting. This one is the one we're going to spend a long, long time waiting because those yellow butter they need to become quite light as well. So and they need to become. So again, we like fluffy stuff. <laughs> So we're gonna beat the butter until we beat all the color out of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you guys, breaking news. While, <laughs> while the butter was uh, doing its thing, we checked on the cupcakes and they're done. They're ready. They're ready. So we're gonna take them out of the oven and put them on a cooling rack. Do you take them out of the muffin tin? Not yet. All right. So we're gonna take them out in the muffin tin and put them just as they are on the cooling rack to cool. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna continue with the butter. So just that's it. That was just the update. I just need to go. Yes. So now you're adding half of that sugar, the icing sugar. Oh. 
Yum. It already looks like I just want to stick my fingers in it and eat it. <laughs> Do we add more? Yes. Now we add All right. Yum. <laughs> okay. Mmm. It tastes so buttery. Yeah, and there's no butter in there, funny enough, because that's uh, that's the double cream and sugar and water. Wow. It tastes really rich. Mmm. Oh, you try. You see if you want. Because this is really up to what you. I want to see if you want more caramel. Mm. And what we can do as well, we can put a little bit of the milk because we want to like a fluffy. Uh, How much? Maybe a whole. Is that too much? A little bit less, yeah. Half. So, like a half of a tablespoon. Uh, don't do this if you're in a diet. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that is. Okay. Life is about balance, it's not about diets. Yes. Have a salad and then followed by a cupcake. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> exactly. And then since you're gonna have 12, then just share them with your friends so you don't feel guilty. Yeah. So, just gonna do, you just wanna scrape it down, see if there's any. That's how it looks. It's thick enough that when you flip it over, it doesn't, like it stays on the spoon. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to bring the cupcakes. You guys, we are going to tidy up and make a nicer presentation and we will be back in three, two, one. All right, so Monique, what are you doing? I'm just putting buttercream inside the piping bag. Um, of course, if you don't have it, you can do freestyle. Yeah. Or if you don't have a nozzle, you can also just cut the end of the tip and then just do a round one. Okay. But I have the pretty nozzle, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> and here's our cupcakes that are ready to be frosted. So we put that caramel in the oven, that homemade caramel in the oven. Stick in one, right? No, uh, the one. Yes. Ooh. See, we just want a little bit more liquidy. Yes. Oh, so you're putting caramel also into a piping bag? Yes, you don't need to, but um, I think it's a little bit less messy, I hope. Okay. okay. When it comes to uh, feeding it. I'm gonna cut this off, but then first, I actually should have got this first. Ah, okay, we're gonna be taking? Yeah. So core. what are you using? That's an apple this core? Is a, yes, it's to remove the... Yes, it's what you use for the apple to remove the core of the apple. So I just use this to take um, part of the center of the cake. Um, you can also, if you don't have this, some people just push it in or they use a knife. Cut this and try not to make Yes. So see, so then we fill it in with yumminess. Ooh. And it will get a little bit messy. You can. How did you? Oh, and you put it back. Oh. I put it back. But so I, did I make them? Each. No, it's okay. The two that are missing. <laughs> the two that are missing are totally fine. Not everybody puts it back. I just hide them like nothing happened. <laughs> See, there was only two missing. There was only two missing. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. All right. And then I'm gonna do a few, but then I want Giovanna to do a few, and then I will take over the camera. Okay. That's, Ready? That sounds good. <laughs> So here you go. So you have this straight, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then with a little bit of pressure, 
not too much and stable you go in circles Ooh. Voila. Nice. I'll do this row and then you do the other. All right, now it's my turn. Let's see. <laughs> we have the professional and then we have the, the yogi style. Okay. Oh, oh you're doing good. Come on. One, oh, there you go. Yeah. And then click. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh. see, you cannot even tell the difference. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, here we go. Let me put it in here. Okay. Since you have your hands dirty, do you want to drizzle some um, some caramel? Yes. How do I? What do just, I do? Just drizzle. With this or with the, with the spoon? With this. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna. Oh god, it's okay. You can go. There you go. We're just it gonna gets get messy. It. Yeah, it just gets messy. Just mess it up in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, just have fun in the kitchen, right? Yes. You know, all messes can just be cleaned yes. up. Especially with cupcakes. Your inner child will come up. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and okay, we... and then we'll finalize with um well you could do whatever you want. How do you do it? I do Tell it me. sorry. Tell I do it like on the side, but you can do it in the middle. I'll move over here. And if you get one that's slightly broken, that one just goes. Exactly. <laughs> Now they look like a stroke of a cupcake. Yes. All right, now is my favorite, favorite part. Time, yes. Is the tasting. <gasps> and we have no tripod. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. So, shall I just taste it? Yes. We forgot to mention, you have to really cool the cupcakes, right? Before you can frost them. Or I think you, you did mention that. But. Yes. And you need to give a big bite so you can see no, the no, caramel. All right, here we go. <laughs> Get ready for the slow motion. Like we can do it beauty guru style. Like dun 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 dun. I can't talk. Look at the caramel. I'm gonna. Mmm. It tastes like all the best parts of the stroke waffle. <laughs> Mm. And then if you miss the crunch, you have the straw buff on top to give you the crunchiness. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. I'm so happy that we did this video. And now you have all these cupcakes to eat and share with your family, because I'm sure your son is dying to get his hands in one of this. Mm -hmm. well, are you excited to try one of these? Yeah. We'll do it off camera, okay? Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. So that, oh, this is our beautiful finished cupcake. Thank you so much for coming and sharing this incredible recipe on my channel. Thank you for having me here. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, so if you want to maybe... Uh, have a look at Mo's website or something. We'll leave all of that information down below. And if you want to win, she is giving away a dozen Strope Waffle cupcakes. You just have to pick them up from Schreveninge. So you can enter from anywhere in the Netherlands, but you will have to pick them up. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we'll leave all the rules and everything below, but basically they're going to follow you on Instagram. Correct. And on Facebook. And on Facebook. So you're going to follow Sugarloaf Cupcakes on Instagram and Facebook. You're going to follow me and subscribe to my channel. So you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. And these are all going to be entries for you. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's very simple, you know, process for you to win a dozen of those delicious cupcakes. Yes. And <laughs> the closing date is going to be, I will announce the winner on July 15th. So you have two weeks to enter. Um, 
Yeah. And then maybe you can win a, win a, win a batch of these amazing cupcakes. Exactly. So you don't have to make them yourself and make a mess. Great. Otherwise, you can always order them with me as well. That's right. You can order them. You make mini, mini cupcakes. Mini cupcakes, cupcakes, Cup wedding cakes, birthday party cakes. I mean, it's all on the website. You can check it out on the page. And the thing is, what I really love about your food is that it not only looks beautiful, but it actually tastes incredible. So I've had experience where you get a beautiful cake, but then it tastes like a cardboard box. And that's not the case here. So... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and everything is homemade, as you saw. I mean, I do the caramel from scratch. Everything I do from scratch, I don't like to buy. Nothing wrong with who does it, but I personally like to make everything from scratch, so it's all homemade. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you came over. Thank you for spending some time with me and teaching yes. me something yummy. My favorite yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Um... If you, well, not if you like Mo, because who's not going to like Mo? Give her a thumbs up, please. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Great. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>